Hi everyone and welcome to another video. I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video today. I haven't got a charity shop haul this week. I've decided not to go into town. But as I'm starting to take photos and list drafts ready for my business to start in October, I thought I'd go over quickly my new photography setup because I used to do flat lays on my dining table which isn't the best, especially for things that need to stand up, like action figures and things. I don't think the background looked very nice. It was on a table with like a curved edge. And basically I thought I could make my photos look a bit more professional for my business. So I've purchased a couple of photography background boards and I'll show you what my new setup is now. So on my dining table, uh, this is what I used to use. I used to do flat lays on here. I have these photography boards. Now, um, they come in a couple of different options. These are off Amazon. Each side has a different design. So this is like a white, almost like wood effect. You can't quite see it on camera. I don't really want to use that side though. I'm going to use this side. This is like floorboard effect. So this will be the base. And then on the back, we have a couple of options. We have this rather nice looking gold effect marble. And then on the back is like a gray effect marble. The ones I've done so far, I've been alternating between the two, um, which gives a little bit of variety. It's good because it's not plain, but it doesn't really distract from the item because most of the time it's slightly out of focus anyway. Um, it's like a stiff polystyrene kind of effect, but they're really sturdy and I think they're going to last me a while anyway. So to set them up, they just slot in the corners like that. And then you've got like a photography setup. And the good thing with this is it can literally go all around the flat wherever the best lighting is. I'll probably try and keep it on the table when I can. Good thing with this, I can just move it around and when I take photos, you can't tell where I took the photo because the edges are cropped out. So the camera I use for my photography and all my YouTube videos is my Canon 250D, if you're interested. It's a great camera, I've had it for a couple of years now, uh, but it suits all my needs. I have a couple of other things to help me make my photos look more professional and do some nice setups. So I have these Perspex stands, three different sizes. So what I can do with these is make multi-layer photos. So if I have several figures, for example, I can set them on different levels and get them all in the same photo rather than trying to stand them up next to each other and not get them all in. I've also got these little stands. I've got this size, I have got a bigger one as well for larger box sets, but these look nice with DVDs and I've also taken pictures with trading cards. Let's grab a DVD. There you go, so you can see it's a nice setup to take a photo for Blu-rays and DVDs. Uh, well I think it is anyway. <laughs> um, it's a bit better than just doing um, flat lays. I mean, you can do flat lace. I could do that if I wanted to. But that looks more like it's just on a dirty floor rather than um, nicely displayed on a stand like that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with like my Blu-rays and stuff. Obviously, bigger box sets, for example, they can just stand like that. And I think they look quite nice like that and other things like plushes. I can um, put them in front of there. I want to try and get square photos if I can, just because it works better on eBay. Sometimes that isn't possible, but I will do square photos where I can, but you can see for example's sake, that's quite a nice, if you make that into a square, it's obviously gonna crop off the sides and it's gonna look like a lovely image. Now there obviously will be times where I have to improvise because there's going to be 
objects and items that I'm going to be selling that are going to be bigger than will fit in the photo display area. So for those things I will have to improvise. I'll probably use like the carpet maybe, depending on what the item is obviously. But for the majority of my stuff it is smaller stuff because it's like easier to post and stuff. I don't really want to pick up huge things. <laughs> but I do have some things that are oversized. So yeah, I just thought I'd film this quick little video for you just in case you're curious what my photo setup is. I know some people have lights and things for their photography. At the moment, I'm not gonna do that only because I have got really good lighting in this flat. I've got surrounded by, you can see windows there all around in this lounge area. So I'm not without lighting any time of the day. So at the moment, I'm gonna be all right and any contrast issues and things I just finish in post-production anyway so it's not really an issue for me at the moment. Obviously if things change then I might get some lights in the future uh, but at the moment because of space as well I haven't really got room to store any lighting and um, with the amount of stock and everything in this it's only a flat that we live in so at the moment I'm going to stick with what I've got as you can see, I've done some examples on this video of what my photography looks like for my items. So let me know any comments down below if you've got any feedback for me. That'd be really good. And other than that, guys, hopefully I will see you tomorrow at the car boot hall. So take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.